Dear all, in this video I will be discussing what do you mean by automatic reclosing. Let's understand the basics on automatic reclosing. You know that automatic reclosing is directly associated with the circuit breaker. Okay, so every circuit breaker there will be two contacts. The first contact is known as fixed contact. Okay, another one is known as moving contact. Relay sends the fault and uh, send the signal to the circuit breaker. At that time, the moving contact will be separated from the fixer contact. Once the fault is cleared, again it becomes just like a closed contact. Okay, during fault it becomes open or it is going to become open. Uh, once the fault is cleared, again it becomes uh, the normal state. That means closed one. This is what exactly happening in case of circuit breaker. Now let's understanding the fundamentals of automatic reclosing. Automatic reclosing is associated with the operation of circuit breaker when the fault is occurred and clearance of the fault. So that is belong to automatic reclosing. It is 100% related to the operation of circuit breaker. Let us consider extra high voltage line. We talk about extra high voltage line. Uh, one recloser is more than enough during lightning. During lightning, the high voltage is going to strike over the particular line. At that time, there may be fault. To get rid of that fault, to overcome that fault, one recloser, okay, one opening and the closure is more than sufficient for extra high voltage line. Okay, so it varies for different type of line. For example, uh, if I talk about the line up to 33 kb. Okay, line up to 33 kb. Here, uh, normally three reclosure in the range of 15 to 20 seconds that is required. Suppose when a tree is falling over the transmission line. So at that time, there are chances for uh, happening uh, line to line fault, then line to ground fault, etc. To uh, clear the fault, at least minimum three reclosure in the range of 15 to 20 seconds are necessary. It is applicable for the line up to 33 kilovolt. Okay. Now let us understand the strategies for uh, the automatic reclosure. So consider uh, the different timing. You know, in general, 80% of the faults are cleared for the first reclosure. So that is what exactly happening in case of extra high voltage line. Up to 80% of the fault is going to rectify for the first reclosure. Then another 10% of the fault will be cleared in the second reclosure. Okay. So 2% need third closure, third reclosure, and the remaining 8% are called permanent fault. Okay. So uh, I think 92% we can able to get rid of by using the automatic reclosure of the circuit breaker but 8 percentages are permanent fault it takes little bit of time to clear okay so this is the category regarding uh, automatic reclosure and uh, the action of circuit breaker if, if i talk about the insulation material pure insulation material you know the automatic reclosures are not used on the cables as the breakdown of insulation or uh, that means particular cable will be permanent. The dielectric breakdown of those solid dielectric material will be permanent. So that is actually categorized under 8 percentage. I already mentioned that 8 percentage of the faults are permanent now. So we can able to mention about such kind of cases belong to that 8 percentage of the permanent fault. So this is actually called automatic reclosure. If I talk about the current transformers, there are different functions especially to measure the high current then uh, for the controlling purpose and the protection purpose. These are the major functions of current transformer. Similarly, voltage transformer also having the similar function. It can able to measure high voltage. Okay. So I have referred the textbook of power system protection written by Badri Ram. Uh, if you are having any queries, you can put up in the comment box. In this session, I have discussed what do you mean by automatic reclosure of a circuit breaker? Finally, thank you very much for watching this video.